phony, phony, phony. I can so damn phony. Just get out my way. Yo guys, what's going on? Today I'm gonna show you how to do the insane build up you saw in the intro in DaVinci Resolve. So to get started, you're gonna need your song. I'm using Never Change and then a clip. This is my clip. I'll just play it. And I have it synced already, but so pretty much you're just gonna sync it right now. You're gonna come over here, unlink it, and we're gonna do the velocity first. So you're gonna wanna go to Retime Controls and Retime Curve. And then um, audio and go here. Unclick that and click return. Click return speed, unclick return frame. Cut your clip on the kill, drag it up one. Now you're gonna wanna um, find a little point in the song right before the beat drop that's kinda. So like, so, like right here when he says just. Right here. I add a marker there. And that's when I have the build up start. So now what you're gonna do is add a speed point there and go five frames to the left. So one, two, three, four, five. And then add another speed point and go to the end of this part and go five frames to the left again. So one, two, three, four, five. Here and now you're gonna want to go here in between those and drag this up to 300% and drag this back one to the marker. Now you're gonna want to go here, drag this up. And then you're gonna want to drag the middle one down to 15% around there. Now you're gonna go have your playhead over the beat drop and drag this little circle and pretty much just line it up so it fits there. And then this will go here. Just click on this and now make it optical flow and smooth it. So now it's gonna be smooth. And I mean, obviously, optical flow is just the worst. But with the effect, it won't look too terrible. And so. So now you're gonna want to pretty much make go to open retime curve here and make it on um, retime speed and then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six. As speed points one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no, four. And now you're gonna want to drag this back one up to 300, this middle one up to like around 150. Put this, press that, and now drag this little circle out so it kind of fits. And make this um. And so yeah, that looks pretty smooth. So I'm like that. Phony, 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 phony. So Just All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a sound effect and a swoosh, which it makes the impact a lot smoother and a lot better. So I'm dragging in my pump sound effect. Um, and then I'm gonna drag in my um, build up swoosh. Because if you guys don't use like swooshes or whatever, it makes it sound so much better on the beat drop. Like it just it improves your video so much. So, just get out my way. Like just you can just hear that, it sounds incredible. Like just get out my way. That one, this one's insane. This one's in the maxi um best sound effects pack, and I think it might be in mine too. Just get out my way. It's it's the best sound effect I have at least. And I have a bunch, but um pretty much now what you're gonna want to do is <clears throat> get the preset pack. So now I know a lot of you are probably just gonna say, oh preset pack, I'm gonna get it and use it. You might actually want to listen to what I say about it because um there's some specific things you have to do to make it look good because if you do it wrong. It's just gonna look bad, so just follow me and then you can leave whatever. But pretty much what you wanna do is close the ventures all and then you're gonna wanna come over here and I have this linked in the description. Um, I'm gonna download it so it's not a virus or anything. Um, now you're gonna want to drag it on your desktop, close it, and now double tap on it. Wait for DaVinci Resolve to open. You're gonna need DaVinci Resolve 17 and Sapphire plugin. You're gonna I will link those in the description, but um, yeah. Okay, so now there's gonna th be a thing called name. Just choose a unique project. This pops up on your second monitor sometimes. It po pops up under applications. If you don't find this, you can't open the project file. But I found it. I have it, so I'm gonna press OK, and now it's gonna open a project for me. And, and now it's gonna open a project. And just resets. Um, and so now you're gonna want to go to your power bins. If you don't see that, go to View, Show Power Bins, and now we're just gonna. Add a bin. Now we're gonna go to master, and now we're gonna hold control and select all of these. 
So you get all the presets you're gonna need and I'm gonna drag them into my bin. So now that they're in my bin, they're gonna be in every project. Now I'm back, and now if I go to this bin, there's all my presets. So now what you're gonna do is go here, and you're gonna wanna drag in a thing called red. And now be careful, if you drag this in from the, out from the front, it's not gonna do the color correction. Anything. You have to drag it from the back, I don't know why it's like that, but it just does. So this looks pretty ugly, it's like an orange color, but now if you go here, you do dog vision color change. You have to drag this on top of the red, and now this makes the colors look different. And so now this has keyframes, so if you don't want the keyframes, you can just um, remove the keyframes. So like just go through each of them and just remove them. And then I'll, I'll, and then this looks really nice. This is red. And then there's a bunch of different colors. And if you don't like these colors, you can go here and change the color spectrum. And it's just a bunch of different colors. So dog vision is definitely the most underrated effect. Red is the coolest in my opinion, but that's fine, just because it's my favorite color. But I'm just gonna drag this back on. So this already has all the keyframes you're gonna need. It has a slow, quick color change. So yeah, so now what you're gonna wanna do is um, drag in this warp pre-shake. I've had this in like, all my tutorials. Anyway, um, this pretty much just has it start warping midway through. If you don't like how much it warps, you can change this number at the end. So this is at 0 0.8. It'll change it to 0 0.7, so it warps more. But it starts warping halfway through, and then the pre-shake starts at the beginning. But for some reason, it's really high right now. So this, you just change the. Uh, yeah, you don't have to change the settings, it's pretty good already. Makes it warp and look super nice. And then another thing is this vignette, it looks super nice. It kind of adds like a little shadow over your whole clip. And it... Super nice. And now what's pretty much what we're going to do is go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and drag these in so it fades in. So just drag these. Onto, onto your playhead so they drag in at that moment. And if it does, looks a little weird, you can go back to your frame, so maybe I'm gonna go five actually. So now it's a really clean build up. And so now I'm just gonna add uh, my hard impact. Doesn't crash. Okay, so here's my hard impact. This is just really clean and it improves it a lot. And then <clears throat> what you can do is um and also guys if your colors look a little weak <clears throat> um the default for this is one but you can turn the saturation up to two and it looks a lot more vibrant and nice so you should probably def you should definitely do that but um if you enjoyed the video or i helped you um please like subscribe add a comment all that good stuff and peace she do is post them. She like me cause I'm open and I ain't off the potion.